Craig, back on the vlog. Back here. How, how have you been? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, not so bad. Good. The incredible Craig, also known as the Falcon. Well, not the Falcon. That's just. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the sun is out, spring is here. It certainly is. Oof. What have we got coming up on the vlog? Usual jokes. We've got a new feature, Craig's Dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Serious window cleaning talk. Also, a giveaway. We were going to do a giveaway. Oh, yeah. So, AE Macintosh News. Since we were last on the vlog, uh, I've become an award winner for the second year in a row, my Resi Block Award. Yeah, Resi Block doorstop. How about that? Best sealed natural stone patio 2017. Pretty good, isn't it? And I've got two of these certificates now. Two years running. It's a nice little bit of promotion for the business, mm -hmm. so that's quite nice. Other AE Macintosh news. We are now using the Hydro Power RO system. Yeah, big old bit of kit. This is uh, helping our business uh, with some of the bigger domestic houses we do, taking our business to new heights, equip us to do some higher, more commercial work as well. So look out for videos coming up on that all summer. Uh, so that's going to be good. Also, I have to tell you that someone recently posted a comment saying that Craig is the funniest window cleaner on YouTube. And Craig has not let it lie for the whole time. <laughs> so, um, so what have you got for us then, Craig? Come on, let's, let's be having it. I'm not a dancing bear, actually. Uh, <laughs> I don't perform on it. Okay. Yeah, every, I like to. Every yeah. day we're chatting as we're working. And um, one of my favourite things that Craig's been telling me about lately is his dreams. <laughs> Craig, do you want to tell us about your dreams? Uh, do I have to? <laughs> I'll tell you, the other day, Craig had a dream, and in his dream, he woke up, but he was still dreaming, and he had written a movie about his dream. <laughs> he had cast celebrities to be in his movie, Yeah. and his movie had even won an Oscar. That's right, yeah. In his dream. <laughs> That's amazing, Craig. It was, yeah. <laughs> I think I was played by Jonah Hill. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and what did you dream about? What was your dream today? Last night. Yeah. Not today. Last, last night. night. Okay, last night. A game show where I had to go to prison for... Right. If you didn't... If you didn't... For like a month. In the game show? On the game show, yeah. On the game so show. So I had to go to prison. Right. I had to last a month in prison. It was quite scary, you know, <laughs> obviously. Well, thanks for sharing your dreams, Craig. Yeah, if anyone knows what they mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, if anyone knows, yeah, let, let Craig know, because he's yeah. wondering. <laughs> I've got a couple of command. jokes. I've got a couple of foot-related name jokes right. for you. Okay. What do you call a man who has no shins? Neil. Tony. All right. <laughs> what do you call a man who has a rubber toe? Roberto! Uh, <laughs> that is good, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we have um, something exciting to tell you, Craig. Right. That um, you've now got some competition. Oh. Because we have to introduce everyone to the newest member of the team. Here he is. Oh. <laughs> now, people might not know this, but he's actually been sitting on our dash for a while. I've not been doing much. When spirits are low, he uh, keeps us going, doesn't he? When the weather's not so good, he's always got a smile on his face. He's got a couple of hats. Is he a raster or? So, oh, he's a bit na naked on TV, that's embarrassing. So you've got some competition, Craig, for uh, Employee of the Month now. Oh, right, <laughs> but he'll get vouchers. So, um, what should we call him? Maybe we should get people to suggest what he can be called. Okay. Uh, write us a comment and let us know what you think we should call him. How about that? Yeah. The AE Macintosh Duck. The newest member of the team. So you better watch your back, Craig, because uh, uh, you've got stiff competition there. <laughs> all the best ideas for the channel are all obviously Craig's. Uh, and uh, Craig has this great idea to do a giveaway. So, uh, Craig, what should we give away? To entice more followers. I don't know. <clears throat> Some equipment. How about this whisper wrapper? Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to entice any. How about... I'll, I'll get something. 
how about this bottle of fairy as used by the famous Ashley and Craig right okay so if you want this famous bottle of washing up liquid as used by the one and only incredible Craig <laughs> subscribe that's all you have to do and one lucky person will get it <laughs> Okay, Craig, got some serious window cleaning talk now. Okay. Getting serious. No jokes. I heard a window cleaner recently say that they'd never used scrim before. Can you believe that? Amateurs. When I first started cleaning windows, the scrim was as essential as buying a squeegee. As water. It'd go hand in hand, really. So we'll just show uh, everyone a bit of scrim. This is a, a classic bit of scrim. When you first get it, it's a bit coarse, so it's quite stiff and you wonder how you're ever going to use it. So uh, it needs washing a, a couple of times first really, to, and it, as you wash it, it starts to soften up. So here's one that's been washed um, a few times, so you can see it starts to get a bit more pliable. Now this is brilliant for uh, the detailing, love a bit of scrim for the detailing. Um, but also it's great for polishing the glass, getting anything stubborn off the glass. Scrim, I still find, is the best thing to use. We, when we use it all the time, don't we, Craig? Yeah. Every day, mm -hmm. we're using Scrim. All the modern cloths you get out there now, but Scrim is still the best. And they seem to last so well, don't they? You, especially when the weather's good, the sun's out. Mm -hmm. You sling one over your shoulder, it seems to dry out as quick as you're using it. There's nothing quite like it. Now, what you do have to do, if you look after and nurture your Scrims, your Scrims will look after you. All right. Isn't that right, Craig? Well, I have to clean up after you. I have to clean up the scrims. Yeah, it sounds like you wipe my bottom or something. So. <laughs> so you can't let them sit damp because they can rot. So you have to make sure they're cleaned regularly in boiling water mm -hmm. with no suds, no no um, washing powder or anything like that. It's just in plain water. Um, the soap that's kind of collected in the cloth kind of cleans them through anyway. Um, but on a hot wash. 90 degrees is usually put them on. Scrim facts for you. There you go, so if you look after your scrims, your scrims will look after you. And if you haven't used a scrim before, get one, try it out. You'll never... in America, isn't it, they don't use them? In America, they don't seem to use them so much. That's no. what we've noticed. European thing. Maybe, but I don't know. So, you should give it a go. Let's start the scrim revolution. <laughs> it's hardly revolution, <laughs> but it's, it's... Top tip recommended, get a scrim. Or get a few, in fact. Yeah.